Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the blur filter or blur effects within Shotcut. Now, the great thing is Shotcut has a variety of different blur effects that you can use, and they're all really easy to use. And so the first thing you want to do is drag your clip down to your project timeline, and then make sure your clip is selected. And now you want to head over to your filters tab. So once you're here, go ahead and go up here to the plus sign and then type in blur and you see that there's six different blur filters or effects available and so I'm going to go over each one of these and then on the final one I'm going to talk about my favorite blur effect out of all of them and so the first one is a blur box so the blur box allows you to control the blur both horizontally which is by width or vertically which is by height and so in this one we're going to control the blur horizontally as you can see there it blurs from left to right and then you can do the same thing vertically so it controls the blur up and down and you could also combine the two as well so super easy to do and it does give you some flexibility on how you want your blurs to appear now the other blurs are going to be very similar so the one that I see a lot of people use is either Blur Gaussian or Blur Exponential. But these three blurs, the Exponential, Gaussian, and Low Pass are very similar. So let me show you the Blur Exponential. Once you choose that, you just control the amount of blur that you have. And I don't really see too much of a difference. But for people who are very familiar with these blur effects, they'll be able to tell that there is a difference. But at least for my eyes, whenever I use Blur Exponential or Blur Gaussian, and blur your low pass they're very similar so as you can see here there's definitely a difference in the way the blur looks I just can't really tell just by looking at it quickly so let's go ahead and look at blur low pass and it's very similar as you could tell so those are the three blur effects uh, that are very similar in my opinion but they're probably the easiest one to use because all you do here is just adjust the amount of blur that you want so let's look at the other two so this one right here reduce noise small blur this one's a little bit different so if you probably have noise on your video uh, this blur is probably what I think is going to help it out so here you can control the blur radius so how much of an area that you want it to blur and then here is the blur strength and you could increase that as much as you need and then there's also a threshold as well and so in this case, there's really not a lot of noise on this particular video. So I probably don't see the benefits. So this one's more if you actually probably want to remove some of your noise uh, just using the blur effect. And as I can see that it is appearing, uh, but it's not one that I would use very often, but it is there if you need it. And now let's head over to my favorite blur. And this one's called blur pad. So I would call this the video game blur and I'll explain to you why. And so if you see here, you can actually adjust the size of your video clip. But there's something else that's added to it as well. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and adjust this. So I can resize this and reposition it. All right. So we'll move it here. And what's really cool about this is what it basically does is it blurs this area that you actually have the dot on so if you notice that now if I decrease this blur you'll see that it's the same image as you can see there but the image matches where I have my circle so wherever you move it that's where it blurs and so why I call this the video game blur is a lot of video game footage that I've seen this is what they do they'll have the actual video game running in the front and then they'll have the same footage or zoomed version like we have here in the back. And then they just have it blurred. And so let me show you how that looks like. As you can see there. So let me go here so you can get a better look. So it's the same exact footage. But it's blurred in the background in the area that you want it. So that makes for a really cool effect. And at the same time, let me show you how this looks like when it's like side by side. So you know, this is even more apparent and what it basically does is it zooms in on that area and it just blurs it out 
so let's go there and then I'm gonna reduce the blur so as you can see there this is zoomed in portion of the video that you actually have your center or circle point on and this is when it's not blurred and then this is when you blur it well maybe not that much but about right here right there yeah so as you can see there there's the original here's the blurred one but I think it looks better whenever it's right in the center or you have it vertically over here so you can have a lot of fun with this I like this effect because I do video game videos as well and I see a lot of people use this to great effect for serious youtubers check out TubeBuddy the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below and so those are all the major blur effects within shotcut now I'm going to show you one more thing that you could do with each one of these blur effects or pretty much all of them except for the noise one so we'll go ahead and go to a simple blur so we'll go with hit when we'll use this Gaussian blur now in this case you could actually use keyframes so if you're not familiar with what keyframes are or how to use them I do have a keyframes video for shotcut I will leave that in the description area below if you wanted to see that but in this case I'm going to show you how to use keyframes really quickly on blur effects so in this case you actually want to go to your keyframes tab down here or you could choose keyframes up here okay so make sure you have your filter chosen which is blur Gaussian and then go to keyframes so once you're in keyframes I'm gonna use advanced keyframes here I'm gonna add a keyframe at the beginning so if I move down there is my keyframe my first keyframe and then I could add another keyframe here and let me go ahead and go back here and add a keyframe here so now I have two keyframes on this second keyframe is where I want the blur effect to start appearing or actually to appear fully so we'll go ahead and blur this all right so what's great about this is it's going to gradually start off real clear and as you play it it's going to start blurring until it blurs and then depending on how you want this you could set another keyframe here and then set a final keyframe where it's clear again so I'm gonna remove the blur and now let's check that out from the beginning so we'll watch our video it's clear we set our blur effect it remains blurred and then it starts clearing up so there's definitely a lot that you could do with this but this is just to show you that applying the blur filters and effects in shotcut is very easy to do and shotcut gives you a variety of different types of blur that you can use on your videos or images so that is it for this particular video if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do use the blur effect be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you did want to see more of my shotcut tutorials and tips i do have a playlist i'll leave that in the description area as well so as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to share like and subscribe Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.